Hello and welcome to this session. In the last session, we have seen how we can run GET and POST requests with REST assured. Today, we will see how we can do PUT, PATCH and DELETE with REST assured. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and this is the project we created. And if I go to SRC test Java folder and go inside tests, we had done we created the get and post examples class and we created get and post methods here. Now I will do a right click on tests folder, the tests package and go to new and create a new class. And I will say this is put patch and delete examples and create this class and here I'm going to use the same APIs that we used earlier, the same website RAQRES. Uh, so for this particular session, I'm using the examples from here. In the next session, I will show you how to create your own APIs and create a local server for hosting the APIs. So let us look at this put request. Put is for update and here it will go and update the resource with this information and this data. So here also we need uh, the payload or the body so let me just go and copy the post request or the post function from the earlier example so this was the earlier function we created in the last session I'm just going to copy this and I will go and paste it here and also let me check the imports so i do not need all this i am using the json simple library to create a json object here and if i check the imports so we are doing static import of the rest assured class so i can actually just say dot star or let me just leave it as it is so I'm doing a static import of base URI given and that's it. And here, so you can see the body that we created in post will work for our put as well. And let me just name, rename the function to test put. And you can see this is the body we have to create name and job, which is fine here. So I will keep it as it is and this is the base uri which is also fine let me check what is the endpoint of this api so endpoint is users2 i will copy this and give the endpoint here so here instead of post i will say put and i will say this is the endpoint and the status code i have to check is 200 and all this you can give as per the requirement the headers the content type so let us try to run this i will do a right click and say run as test ng test and this looks fine everything is passed and if i go to the console so you can see i am getting the response here and it says this was updated at this particular time so that means this is fine this is running fine so the put request is running fine let me also check a patch request so here we have a patch request here and if i go here patch is again for update so here this looks similar the body looks similar i will copy this function and I will paste it and change the name to test patch and this project I am going to put on github and in the description I will also provide the link for the github project so that you can also get it from there so this is for patch and here the body is same so this thing remains same and then the endpoint I have to check so looks like the endpoint is also same here underscore uh, forward slash users too and actually this is the endpoint so I can take this as the endpoint 
here and the base URI let me keep until here and instead of put this will be patch and save and let me try to run so this is again running fine and this is the results of test ng and in the console i can see the response here this is working fine so put and patch are working fine now let us see a delete operation so if i go and see a delete api request here so we have a delete here and delete we get the response as 204 204 is for no content if you check for the http methods here you can check here 204 is for no content so for a successful delete i should be getting a 204 so let me check this is the endpoint so i will just copy this function again and paste it i will rename this to test delete and for delete i do not need all this i do not need the body so i'm just deleting everything here i just need the base uri and uh, this is also not required so i can directly say even given i will just remove although i can use given i will just say when delete and i will have to import it so let me go to the imports and instead of this i will just say dot star and then i will not need this as well so now i'm having when i delete this so the endpoint is this and then status code should be 204 so a very simple request when i delete this then this should be the status code let me check i will run this and this should be running fine you can see the delete operation is running fine and in the console also i should be getting the right response you can see test delete is running fine we have three test runs and zero failures so this is how you can test delete and as i told you the these apis that we have used here these are very basic and fake apis available on the server uh, when i do a post post is for creating a resource but it does not actually creates a resource this uh, this just gives us the uh, checks the response and gives us the status code 200 so in the coming session we are going to create our own api request and we will see what happens when we do a post it should create a new resource and we will also test all these other uh, different methods get post put delete patch with our own api so i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching